Hey guys, uh, this is just a little uh, intro. I've been sitting on this video for a couple of days uh, that I made uh, regarding a compilation video that, um, you know, where Jonathan was talking about the construction of his container that's now in Grand Junction, Colorado. And um, I'm just, you know, thinking about things and which I want to go here. And, I, you know, it's got so many questions in my mind. I mean, how can a guy that sees a penis behind every blade of grass or a vagina under every rock practically, and I'm being a little facetious there, but I think you guys know what I mean. There are all these occult symbols and everything. Feel comfortable wearing a Baphomet or a demon on a bandana on his own head, and have demon faces on his wall, and have chicks, you know, nudity structure, you know, sculptures in, in his office. I mean, I, I'm really struggling with some of this stuff. So, um, I think you guys will find this in this video very, very interesting. As an example, as a flame here, he points out in this video clip, you know, that, that just appeared, and to me, I see a demon or the devil clear as day. Clear as day. I mean, there's no disputing it. So you guys take a look at it, give me your opinions, let me know. Opposing uh, comments or opinions are welcome, but, uh, you know, rather than a personal attack, come with scripture. Don't come with a concordance. A concordance is not an inspired book. You can't um, you know, use an uninspired book to define an inspired book. Let the Bible define itself. Okay, so don't come to the channel with, you know, this word means this and this word means that because the words change over the years and, you know, but uh, there's plenty of scriptures to give you the line of thought that God is trying to tell us. And we're going to use the Bible and the Bible only on this channel, pretty much. I mean, maybe occasionally reference the Strong's, but uh, the Bible's the go-to book on this channel. All right, the knowledge of others may vary. And with that, have a good day and enjoy the video. Take care. Okay, guys. Um, here we go. Let's let's have a quick chat. Mm. I'm making arrangements right now for the shipping container to go to its final place. I told y'all a long time ago, and it's a matter of it's it's been recorded. There's no way you can fake any of this. This is a, the Lord said, Jonathan, go into the fire. And I was looking at this fire and I was like, that's weird. And, you know, and the, the Holy Spirit was leading me. He said, go into the fire. And then I'm like, go into the fire. I said it out loud. This is a, the Lord said, Jonathan, go into the fire. And I was looking at this fire and I was like, that's weird. And, you know, and the, the Holy Spirit was leading me. He said, go into the fire. And then I'm like, go into the fire. I said it out loud. And then I wrote back, well, that's interesting. Drop off, pick up whatever you need, brother, extra room, we are good. And I said an upside down smiley face. Look at the cross that Jesus went to as your key to freedom. Turn it upside down. For clarification purposes, so you understand. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satan is used. The keyhole is shaped like a cross. Put the cross in and then turn it upside down and the bolt retracts and the door opens and there's the kingdom of heaven. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satan is used. 
and I send an upside down smiley face 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 and then he told me you know I start thinking about he lives in Grand Junction and the word grand it means great you know what I'll just show you a couple of things get y'all ready for this testimony tomorrow y'all, y'all will not believe what what this all entails grand means magnificent and imposing uh, magnificent awe inspiring splendid resplendent denoting the largest or most important item of its kind like the grand entrance oh you mean like maybe the second coming oh you mean like maybe the second coming Oh, you mean like maybe the second coming? Oh, you mean like maybe the second coming? Grand Junction. The word junction means coming together. Well, what's really interesting is when I call or when I called him to see if I could possibly drop off the shipping container there if I needed to. He said, "Yeah." He goes, "You know what? I'm doing? right now. I'm building a wedding arch." I was like. Well, that's interesting. You're building a wedding arch? He's like, yeah, the Lord told me to make a hoopah, which is the same symbol that's on this house, the hat symbol. He said to make a hoopah and put it in the front yard. And so he's putting the hoopah in his front yard right in front of a giant shin symbol. That's his front yard with a giant shin symbol. And the hoopah's right there in the middle part of the shin oh that's where the night I got saved this is where the Lord told me go into the stairwell this is the Lord said Jonathan go into the fire and I was looking at this fire and I was like that's weird and you know and the Holy Spirit was leading me he said go into the fire and then I'm like go into the fire I said it out loud let's see the very day they the woman wanted to put the crown on my head my friend Kat her morning Bible reading was then they brought out the king's son and put upon him the crown and gave him the testimony and made him king and Jehoiada his sons anointed him and said God save the king by the way the the name Jehoiada means self-existent eternal God like Jehovah well that's kind of weird because Mike didn't know about any of that either and he was planting trumpet vines on the hoopa that is a wedding arch I mean you know I told you that container it's already documented I said when I picked that thing up with Revelation 310 I told everybody it represents the bride of Christ it got sat down in the back of the house it's got the Lord's name on it I went and did everything the Lord told me to do to prepare it and now he wants it picked up and moved to the corner of Rainbow and Casimir and again the word Casimir means proclamation of peace and by the way when just as a really cool photo this is inside the container then there's a video on YouTube that proves it the very first night the Lord told me put the Bible over my name and I put the Bible right over the name of Yahweh. It's right side up, upside down, uh, you know, and light comes through this. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is inside the container. It's an octagon. And here is a very beautiful Bible I have that my mom gave me. And the night that I put the, this all on, the Lord told me, I want you to make a fire outside. And I made a fire and there's a fire pit on the patio. And I was sitting there and I looked over and I'm like, oh my Lord, it looks like the table's burning. That's insane. And I walked up there and it looked like the table was on fire. I was like, what in the world is going on? And it was this perfect reflection. It's never been duplicated. I've had other fires. It's never been duplicated. It looks like the fire is burning right off the tabletop. It was a reflection, and I haven't been able to duplicate it. It just happened the night I set everything up like the Lord told me to. Oh, well, that's funny because the shin symbol, 
stands for the Ryuk Elohim, the, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Living God. Anyway, it's pretty wild, isn't it? There it is. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, you could even think this stuff up. It's constant. That's why I told you, the people that have come here to visit, they'll give their own testimonies. It is not the same world that I live in that the rest of the planet lives in. Get a crown! Get a crown! Put a crown on his head! Don't you think it's odd that I used to be a pro sky surfer and there I am sky surfing with the space shuttle Discovery Discovery launching. I look like I'm kind of crucified, don't I? That's kind of odd. 